Hello and welcome back to part two of the Sunshine Mandala. The next row that we're going to carry on with is going to be in the pink. A nice straightforward round and I'll show you how we start off. We're going to start in any of the stitches that were the front post half doubles around the flower and into that stitch we need to join our yarn with a slip stitch and work four chain which is going to count as one double and one chain and into the same stitch we do a second double to form a V stitch. We're going to miss the next stitch and work a V stitch into the following stitch. So one double, one chain, one double. Skip the next stitch and we're back into the front post stitch from the previous round where we do a V stitch. And we're going to carry on all the way around working in the same way, doing a V stitch, miss one stitch, a V stitch, miss a stitch, a V stitch be able to tell that you're in the right stitch as long as every other stitch falls into that front post double at uh, front post half double from the previous row and we'll just carry on in the same way all the way around miss a stitch work a V stitch miss the next stitch and work a V-stitch. Remembering that the V-stitch is one double, one chain and one double all into the same stitch. With this mandala you would be able to stop at any point when you find that your mandala's as big as you want it to be or you can carry on right through to the end of the project with me. When we get round to the end, miss that stitch, work the final V stitch and then we're going to join into the third chain of the four chains that we started with, with a slip stitch. Fasten off and pull the loop, uh, pull the thread through to finish off. For the next row we're going to use a, a new colour, it's a bright green.
another very simple round we're going to work one double crochet in between each of the v-stitch so we'll start off by joining the yarn in between any of the two v-stitches and we're going to work five chain which counts as one double and two chains into the next space between the two V's we're going to work one double followed by two chain and into the next space one double so we're working between the V stitches of the previous row so two chain and a double two chain and one double. And we carry on all the way around working the same stitch. One double, miss the V stitch, two chain, one double, two chain, miss the next V stitch and in the space between we work one double. we get to the part where you've got the tail from the previous round it's a good idea to catch that tail down and work over it which just means there's less of the actual working the ends in when you've finished chain two one double chain two Miss the V stitch, one double. So we'll carry on in this way all the way around, and I'll meet you at the end of the row. I will put the uh, the colours used on this part of the mandala below the video so that you can make sure that you've got the colours before you start. As we get to the end of the row we're going to join with a slip stitch into the third of the five chains that we started the row with and we're going to snip off the yarn, pull the loop through and we're ready to start the next row which is going to be the orange. The next row is going to be this orange row here and it's a straightforward uh, row of three half doubles in each of the two chain spaces. Going to start with a slip knot onto the hook and start in any of the two chain space by attaching the yarn with a slip stitch. We're going to work two chains which is going to count as the first half double followed by another two half doubles and then straight into the next two chain space and we work three half doubles into the next space work three half doubles so it's yarn over pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all three stitches and just carry on in the same way all the way around just making sure that you've got the three half doubles in 
each two chain space from the previous round. Oops. can pause the video at any time to give you a chance to catch up. It's a nice simple round this one. Three half doubles in each two chain space. If you want to carry on working all the way around and I'll meet you at the end of the row. For this next row, again we need to join the yarn onto the hook with a slip knot and we're going to start between any of these three half double blocks. So we join between the two sets of half doubles with a slip stitch and work three chain which is going to count as the first double. And we're going to work in three double crochet clusters. So the first one's always a little bit different because we're going to have done the starting chain. So three chain, then yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, which is going to leave three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all three together. We do exactly the same into the next space. So we miss the three double uh, the three half doubles, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and this time we've got the four loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all four. We're going to work exactly the same into the next stitch, into the next uh, space between the two half doubles. So yarn over, pull up a loop through two, yarn over, pull up a loop through two, yarn over, pull up a loop through two, yarn over and pull through all three stitches. Yarn over, pull up a loop through two, yarn over, pull up a loop through two, yarn over, pull up a loop through two, yarn over and pull through all of the stitches. Realised I've made an error there. I'm going to have to just pull back to the first cluster there. We always finish off a cluster with a chain and we need to put a chain after the stitch as well. So we'll start over with yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over through two, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over through two, yarn over through all three 
followed by a chain and then a chain in between. So yarn over, miss the three half doubles and into the space we work another three double crochet cluster. So we've got the three stitches, four loops, yarn over, pull through two, chain to finish off and a chain in between. Yarn over into the space, pull up a loop, yarn over through two, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over through two and a third time gives the three stitches we then yarn over and pull through all of the stitches. And carry on in the same way all the way around. One, two, three, yarn over, pull through, oops, it's the chains again, chain to finish and an extra chain. I'm going to catch down the tail of the yarn. One, two, three, yarn over, pull through all three stitches plus the, the loop on the hook. So yarn over, pick up a loop through two, yarn over, pick up a loop through two, yarn over, pick up a loop through two, four loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all of them followed by the two chain. So if you want to carry on and work all the way around in between the blocks of three half doubles we're working a three double crochet cluster with the two chain in between and I'll see you at the end of the round. When we get round to the end of the row, going to work a chain to fasten off the stitch plus a chain and then we're going to join into the top of the first cluster. Snip off the yarn and pull through. This next row we're going to work into the orange row as well and catch the stitch. Um, it's a little bit trickier than the other row so I'll go through it with you a few times. So we start by working a half double into any of the two chain spaces. So because it's the first stitch it will be the two chain which counts as the the half double. We're then going to work a front post treble into the middle stitch of the orange row. So it's yarn over twice, 
behind the stitch and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And then we do the half double into the next stitch, which is yarn over, pull through uh, all three at the same time after we've picked up the loop. We're now going to do a front post half double around the cluster, which we've done before. I'll just go over how it's done again. So it's yarn over into this space that we've just worked in. Behind the cluster, pick up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three. Then into the next two chain space, we're going to do a half double, which is yarn over, pull up a loop through all three, and then a treble, front post treble down into this middle half double. So it's yarn over twice, behind the stitch, it's the middle of the three, pick up a loop, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And then again into that same two chain space, we do a half double. We're now back at the cluster, so we're going to do a front post half double around this stitch. So it's yarn over into the same chain space that we've been working in. Behind the stitch, pick up a loop, yarn over and pull through three. So we've got a half double, a front post treble, a half double, a front post half double around the cluster and then we've back to the start of the repeat which is one half double, one front post treble, one half double and then the half double around the cluster. I'll show you that one again. So we've got a half double, yarn over twice, into the stitch, behind the stitch, sorry, pull up the loop and then yarn over and pull through two yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two a third time and then a half double into that same two chain space half double around the cluster into the next two chain space we've got half double the front post treble and a half double into the same two chain space. Half double around the cluster and into the next two chain space where we've got one half double, one front post treble which is down on uh, around the uh, the orange stitch from row 11 and then a half double into that same two chain space and then the half double around the cluster into the chain space one half double one front post, treble, a half double into the same two chain space and a half double around the cluster. And we're going to carry on 
in the same way all the way around. I'll do it a few more times. Half double, front post, treble into row 11, a half double followed by a half double around the cluster. Half double, front to post, treble, half double into the same two chain space and the half double around the cluster. Half double, treble, around the middle half double from row 11, a half double and again the half double around the cluster. So yarn over behind the cluster, pick up the loop, yarn over and pull through all three. So in each two chain space we've got the half double, the front post treble around the middle half double from row 11, another half double in the chain space and a front post half double around the cluster. Half double around the cluster, half double, front post, treble, half double, and then the front post, tre uh, the front post half double around the cluster. So the repeat is one half double, one front post treble, one half double, and then the half double, the front post half double around the cluster. And we carry on in the same way all the way around and I'll meet you at the end of the row. As we come round to the end of the row, we've got the half double around the cluster half double, treble, front post, around, row 11, half double in the same chain space and then the half double front post around the cluster. We're going to then join the yarn into the second chain of the starting stitch, snip off the yarn and pull through. And that brings us to the end of part two. Because each row now is going to take so much longer to do, um, I'll keep each part a little bit shorter depending on the um, on the stitches that we use. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial for part two and 
I hope I'll see you for part three. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Bye.